basically they banned three of Max heroes. Yes. I mean, I mean Pepsi is more worried about uh, Minisky Airplane than Minisky worried about SSI. This is very, very the opposite, I guess. Yes, because Max. we talked about how yeah. uh, we might see them going against Ice Ice Ice's favorite picks, but I guess they're going to go against Max. Um, uh, this 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 give an opportunity for faceless um, to actually in use smack. exercise more. And we might yeah. see a disruptor on face the side as well. It seems a great pick with uh, glimpse back and uh, especially against Quap and um, like with the static storm, it would be great to lock them down. Okay, uh, what about like we like you see, Miniski has a initiator. Swan can be an initiator as well with the storm hammer and um, Quap can be like very annoying in gang fights, especially when in gang fights. Faceless. What about yourself, Pinda? What do you like to see on Faceless' side? I wouldn't mind a Slark on Faceless. A Slark? Why is Let's that? Track. Ooh. Oh. That's the first. Is that a good pick for Minesky at the moment? I haven't seen Lush. I mean, I don't think Lushrak has been picked in this patch like much. Yeah, it's the first it's time we've seen him in, the, in this yeah, tournament. In this, yeah, in uh, this qualifier as well. I think so, yeah. Hmm. So they're trying out something new, but... Is it risky? Because they still picked Swen, so it could be a like a, like Ramen mentioned, it could be a trap or now Faceless they they have to be really smart, they have to be really careful about Silencer. It. Okay. This is a great pick. Silence is a great pick to lock down uh Quap especially. But again, like you said, like silence, SK they have like really heavy cooldown on them and if they pick another hero which has they have to go with Lower cooldown. No, heroes? not lower cooldown. They just need yeah, something to blend in with those this, ultimates, like to something to balance out. Too, too high MMR. Too high MMR. <laughs> <laughs> On I faces mean, aside, let's try. Can be a core, also, if if Minsky wants to play as a, as a core, which is which give faces a, a no clue about what Minsky wants to do now. I have a feeling it's going to be Sven support. I don't know, like you said. Yeah. So for Minsky right now, what would be a good counter? Um, to go against faces as uh, hero picks. I think now it's more to what what is a good counter for faces uh, against Minesi. Because they have, obviously they pick the silencer, silencer to to be to actually counter all the three heroes because Juggernaut could be a great pick too on yeah. the side if, if they But pick I, I I really faces should pick anti mage no matter what. Faces should pick anti mage. Yeah. Anti Mage is a great pick, but I'm, I'm guessing you're right. Faces is actually looking forward to see what Mines is picking, so that they can counter it. I, I think Jug would still be a great pick if they hit off the silence. It's gonna be great for Omni Slash, like you know, just off lockdown. Okay, they what, what do you guys think about the fourth pick? Bro uh, I so totally cannot understand anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like you know, Lisha can have more damage, physical damage on the towers. Let's say probably would be off lane now. Off lane. Yeah. Okay. I think they're playing mind games with Faces over here. Um, we have to wait and see what the fourth pick on Faces' side would be. See when, if they so will. When the ledge track can be a, a good support, both also can be a good support. But so far, Faces' pick they didn't really counter Sven. So maybe Sven will be the call. Could be, yeah. yeah. But there's still a possibility for Sven to go to support, correct? Yeah. And Ninja Boogie play Sven is very good. I mean, he, he plays. Uh, spend the most, I think, before this, we see the stats. Right, right, right. Uh, yes, yes, two yes. Two spend. Yes, two uh, spend, yes. Okay, the hmm. fourth pick on Faceless. Ayo, for Faceless. I. Ayo. Think it's. <laughs> I don't, no, no, no. Okay, I mean, so. It would be good, it would be good. Like it. <sighs> we're waiting for our last bands and then Slaughter we're going to see. Slaughter has been banned, right? Slaughter. No. Okay, they have. They can totally pick slaughter here. They have a life Manisky, stealer. I mean, why not? Maniski pushing power is very good. I mean, okay. with with uh, Lesher there, with Nature Prophet. No, slaughter would be great pick on Faces Slide because they have a Nature's Prophet, and you know, with slaughter's ultimate, it would be easy to track it down, especially with Oquap as well if it ex escapes. Even like when it comes to Sven, it, uh, it's great against reducing its armor. So I'm pretty sure uh, Life Stealer is going to go for the Solo Crest build again because that that's going to be a very effective item in game, especially against a uh, hero like Sven, who has so much armor in him. And I think now what face is lacking right now is mobility. So I'm pretty sure the Slark hasn't been banned, right? So. Um, it would be a great pick on them. They need that mobility. If, to if, if they pick Slark, it will be too greedy on their side. 
Kedori Life Stealer, Lina ada. They need, they need another support or another offerings. On If, faces side? Yeah, on faces side. That's why uh, Mineski is banning the exchequer. Unless uh, they want to go para. So it is the last pick for faces at the moment. You see, faces thinking. Uh, Mineski is using to ban oh, and support. That's why they ban Razor. Yeah, Razor could have been a good. Yeah. Yes. So. Oh wow. Okay. So they are thinking Sven as the support. That's why they didn't come to Sven much. So this is a good opportunity for Mineski actually. So depend now. I'm pretty sure they are deciding whether to use Sven as call or pick another call. Right. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see what the last yes. pick is. But I'm sad. <laughs> no anti mage. No anti mage. Yeah. yeah, we were expecting that, but um, I guess we'll have to wait and see if Faces' strategy actually is something that they can pick up and execute. Um, last pick for Mineski, Pinda. Any thoughts? Yeah, we we're definitely. I think Raman might be right. So okay, no. Oh. Okay, it's a Sven core. So yeah, it's a Sven. It's gonna be a position for Bara. Are you disappointed? No, because Faces didn't really counter Sven, so it's a good point opportunity for Mineski to use Sven as a core. It's, it's a good bait for them. I mean, it's a safe, uh, it's a safe bait for them. Bara. They can, if you. Counter our Sven, then we choose another one. But right. If you don't counter, then we can just play with That's true. Sven. So what is your prediction, Master Raman? What do you think is going to take this one? Uh, I'm going for Mineski. Mineski? Oh, um, really? Are you sure? I'm not sure, but I'm going for Mineski. Okay, Mineski. Pinda? <laughs> I'm going to go for Faceless. Faceless. I'm going to go with Mineski as well, guys. We have Brian and Fitchy on the cast's table. Guys, enjoy the game. All right, welcome back, guys, to the cast. And this could potentially be the final game of the day. Faceless versus Maneski. Fitri, how are you feeling? Well, uh, I'm feeling uh, excited about the game because yeah. we, we're going to see like Mushi against Ice Ice Eyes, two legends going against each other. Yep, and, indeed. And, yeah, and uh, I think uh, Maneski really need this win if they want to uh, have a high chance to proceed to the next round. I mean, to to qualify for the TI. Right. So I'm really rooting for Mineski because I'm from Malaysia. But of course... Um, <laughs> well, the Malaysian pride is ringing yeah, in here, Yeah, exactly. Huh? But, but I, I do feel disappointed with Faceless' uh, performance so far. Um, I mean, they were like one of the... Uh, I mean, throughout the whole year round, they were doing so well. And uh, for some reason, it's like during the biggest event and suddenly it's like... They're like, I don't know. They're doing so bad. Well, it's probably the stress is building up in them, and you know, they're they're cracking under stress. It's probably and, and also probably most of the teams are up. looking to counter them, so everybody is like looking out uh, how to fight against faceless. Right. So let's let's just have fun with the prediction here since we have a little bit of time. So play with the most B wars by 15 minutes. Who do you think it will be? Well, I I, I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be Ninja Boogie. Ninja Boogie. <laughs> yeah. So. Really? Well, he's going to be running around the whole time though. Well, I, know, I uh, well, think it's going to well, be nuts. I mean, if he wants to run around the map, he has to do what first, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to go fit nuts. So, the team who places the most observable wards by games. Uh, faceless, definitely. Faceless? Yeah. Alright, I'll trust you, bro. Total number of teleports cancelled by stun. We have a Nature's Prophet. Does a TP count? Or is it just a TP yeah, scroll? Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's one big question. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm just gonna go with like zero because I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, looking at the, um, the number of stunners here, I think okay, it's like more than three, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the stunners in the game. But it's by 25 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go with one then. Okay, you, you, you swayed me a bit, I'm gonna go with one. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go with two then. Yeah, Alright, so play with the highest total ah, physical I'm damage. Oh, three. come on, it has to be Ark, right? Who, pardon? Uh, the highest total physical damage done. To the heroes at the game, it could be life stealer. I think well. I think it's life stealer. Really? There's no doubt. No, I'm gonna go with Art because he has got strength, and I think that Manessi is gonna win. Uh, but he, he is he. Uh, and the cleave damage adds on as well, right? Well, anyways, it's been locked in. Wow, locked look in at that! Maneski, Maneski have three bounty. Yep. Let's let's jump right into the introductions. Why don't I introduce Faceless, and you can introduce Maneski? Um, sure. So I will start with uh, Mac uh, using Nature Prophet, um, Sven on Ark, Ninja Boogie on Spirit Breaker, Rior on Mineski, and Mushi <laughs> on Rior Rio. on <laughs> Rior on Tomato <laughs> Soul. My tomato friend. Soul, yeah, Tomato Soul. Let's rock, yeah. So, <laughs> okay, what the hell? I, I don't, I don't have enough sleep. Uh. Yes, we know Rior I, is I, I, I need my, I need my, co I need coffee. Uh, and then Queen of Pain, yeah, Mushi. Mushi himself. 
<laughs> All right, great introduction to that from my co-caster. Um, we have Jess on the Tusk, we have Black playing the Lina, we have Nuts on the Silencer, Ice 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 playing the Sand King, and last but not least, we have XY on the Life Stealer here. So, let's have a look at the middle lane feature. Who do you think will have the battle lineup here? Mm, well, it's a, mind you, it's a Queen of Pain against the Lina again. I, I think Mineski have a good lane. I, I like I like Mineski lanes. Oh, looky here. Ice, Ice, Ice once again out of position. Three heroes coming towards him. The Storm Hammer to land as well. Ninja Boogie doesn't have mana for another stun, but doesn't even need it. Last hit going the, onto See, the way I, of arc. I told you, right? I like Mineski lanes. You like Mineski lanes. Oh, just because he got first blood, you kind of like them, right? I already said it before, earlier, man. <laughs> alright, alright. And now I, when, you, when you asked me, <laughs> I already told you. Okay. So, um... Yeah, Mac right now the Nature's Prophet. Level 25 talent is zero cooldown teleport. Yeah, he's gonna die again. Oh, ice, ice, ice. They have a stun. Indeed, he will come back and Rior. He can last it. Varu Ooh. strike! Oh, ice, ice, ice! But nope, Ninja Boogie and, will uh, land the last hit. And even even he, he get away from there, they still have Mac, Nature's Teleport. Don't forget that. Yep. And he still can kill. He can still snipe from all the way back. Speaking of Mag though, he will at least meet up with Jabs. Nah, he doesn't Eye have a shot. Nice shot moving forward, and we have Nuts closely following behind here, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yep, it's definitely not. Right now, down towards the middle lane, we have Black going up against Mushi. So, we, how often have you seen Mushi play Queen of Pain? In this tournament? Yep. Uh, I mean, no, I mean overall. Like, when was the last time you saw him play QOP? It's been a while. It's been a really long time. Right. Was it, was, was it during, like, uh, Orange uh, Orange <laughs> TI3 time? I have oh, no idea. Uh, I, I wasn't in the. I, I haven't even played Dota during TI3. So I'm not too sure myself. Let's have a look right. at the bottom lane now. Ark seems to be having quite an okay time despite having the Sand King hot on his tail. Well, the Sankey's been caught up two twice. Yep, indeed. I think he un he underestimated the the dry dry stunner lineup. Yep. From Mineski. Yep. The charge into the into the split earth into the storm hammer. Ah. It, it, that's really really old school. Really really old school. Try try stunning lane. This goes way way back. So speaking of way back, um. Mushi has transitioned into a lot of teams, right? But personally, which team do you feel that he excelled the most? I think it has to be Orange. I really? mean, as a Malaysian, I mean, everybody's like remember Mushi for how he, how he brought Orange to to get placed third. Oh, but that's like a little three. bit of biasness inside there, like like thinking from a neutral perspective. I, I mean, okay, you look at Ti Four where Mushi was playing on DK. He couldn't really shine because he wasn't really playing in the. Uh, uh, his comfortable role. He was playing as off lane, and Mushi, you know, playing as an off lane, he limits his, you know, his true ability at the time. Oh, Ninja Boogie, been out of position. Position here. He did cancel out the charge, but it will be on cooldown for another two seconds. So he look to use it against Ice, Ice, Ice again. Probably the try stun as well. Oh, they, 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 they know it. They know they're coming. Oh, Ninja Boogie definitely not gonna be safe here. Does he get the charge out in time? Indeed, he will. Nope. Oh, oh the ice Kamina shot solo. backfired on them. Oh, nevertheless, we'll die from the arcane curse. But all in all, at least there is one kill going aside of faceless here. So let's have a look in terms of the item progression here. Mushi has two now talisman in his pocket. We have Lina, and same thing as well. Two now talisman. Uh, well, NP Mac is not doing Mac, Mac is doing fairly well in the off lane. So bad. Okay. This is getting enough farm. What are your thoughts on the face boots on the nature's? Yeah, th that's that's basic. Especially uh, uh, this is really common nowadays. Yeah, it's been. Uh, it's been used for a while. What are your thoughts on the power threats in this prophet? Well, uh, I think uh, the face boot gives better initiate initiation capability and also it gives uh, more harass damage, better right. last hit, 
and also a uh, better escape and it's also cheaper so right now how many but how many spans have we seen being picked out so far today um i think most of the games aside from the one where they were banned yeah i think i've already seen three spans game right yeah and most of them Oh, they really now. He, oh, so close to getting the kill onto Black there. He said he solves up, but here comes Ninja Boogie as well as Mag. And this is the global presence that both the heroes have. Now trying to go on to Japs, but just not gonna be. They don't have enough in their pocket right now to actually land another kill. Uh, look at bottom. Uh, Rior almost. Oh, he's, he'll, he'll survive. Yep, Rior will survive with what, almost 60 HP, so not too bad. Will he be denying the draw? No, right? No, let's just go for the creep. Oh, okay. He could dodge that. Aw, oh, Jabs. <laughs> Looks like he may be having a hard time here. Mushi moving forward. Gonna more right clicks. He's made in time to the shrine. Yep, looks like there will be a kill being thwarted by Faceless there. Hmm. So Maneski, what is their game plan for you? I mean, how do you read their draft and how do you feel that they will excel best? They're, they're pretty good at uh, pushing towers because they have nature proof that and the uh, POP does have good mobility for him to wrap around. Oh, look at that! Oh, the, the sprout just to push himself away from the eye shot. Th that's, really, that's really high level play. Yep, need a good call there from Peg. Yep, so uh, back to my question, how do you feel that they excel best with the draft? Well, well I think uh, they can just uh, rat around and then the QOP have a really good uh, mobility so it's not that easy to kill him unless they commit a lot of uh, maybe global silence and uh, Laguna and that <coughs> only can happen if uh, Mushi is like get sloppy or get really really careless uh, so if they continuously farm the whole map, I think they can get a good chance for the Spirit Breaker and the uh, NP to pick off while constantly uh, pressuring all the lanes. Is this just me or is Tus being very hallucinating? Well, right. Hold that thought for now as we can see. Nuts now being charged up. Ole keep going for more. Snowball. Hitting onto Mushi here, but Nuts falling very, very low himself. Couple more right clicks will do it. Oh, Ninja bash. Boogie with the bash will get the kill. Mushi. Oh, Ninja Mag. Oh, Mag gets trapped out by, his, by the eye shot. Lina still. doesn't have enough mana for the Laguna. Yep, indeed. And it, Mag. Oh, but the Dragon Slave does go through trees, my friend. So you're not going to be able to survive that. And here comes XY, the life stealer, moving in. And just a couple more right clicks will get the kill onto the onto the last track. So Rior will fall as well. And a double kill for Black. It wasn't worth it. It's just for a silencer. So let's bring up the graphs. Just a small lead in terms of net worth for Maneski. And EXP a small lead for Faceless there. So not too much just yet. Oh, bottom lane. Oh, oh Epicenter was cancelled by Rior's stun. It <laughs> looks like Ice 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 will have to pay this blunder with his life. Ice 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 going at 0 3, that's rare. Well, he's, he's the kind of player that goes for go big or go home, right? Yeah. And look at the middle lane here. This is a restage. Re ah, it's not going to be able to survive this at all. Ninja Boogie with the lucky bashes as well as Mushi with the huge burst damage will just kill off Rior so easily. Anyway, I haven't seen Nux on Warlock yet so far. I you mean, see what? Uh, Nuts with, with Warlock. I mean, Nuts, uh, Nuts has been using a lot of Warlock even before he joined Faceless, even back in MVP days. He's a, he's a good Warlock player, but uh, in this in this qualifier, I have I've yet to see that uh, Faceless gave, uh, drafted him uh, his Warlock. Well, they probably have been practicing with other heroes and want to prioritize, prioritize it more. I, I wonder if Warlock has any nerf, has been nerf or... Was it hit by any nerf? Uh, from the recent patch? I don't remember. I don't know. So right now, let's have a look in terms of the net worth is being led by the Sven. 4.4k, but a close second is Alina with 4.4 as well. 3.8k on the Life Stealer and Mushi on the Queen of Pain has 3.3. So looks like 
in the mid lane, Mushi kind of lost out a little bit there. And now we see a smoke attack coming up from Faceless. Free hero smoke. Who did he find? Plants out a ward. Oh, Mac is uh, Mac's gonna uh -huh. bad choice for Mac. Yeah, Mac just TP'd out all of a sudden though. So does he feel it coming? The hit squad is near. It's coming onto closing onto him. Oh, here comes the snowball, oh. and Mac is not gonna be able to survive this. Four hero hot on his tail, and the Laguna just to kill him off. Doesn't get any more insulting than that. Secure kill. <laughs> And I believe he just TP'd onto lane and right now he needs to just TP again. But being a nature's proper, level 2 in the teleportation, it's not going to be too much of a hurdle for him. But it looks like XY will at least look to take down the tier 1 tower. Hmm, so Lifestealer usually goes for the Desolator, right? I'm pretty surprised that XY doesn't opt to go for the uh, uh, Actually, uh, Amlet is a... Uh uh, prerequisite for life dealer as a first item. Yeah, but um, what I usually see people do is they buy the Blightstone as a casual, but hold that thought for now as it looks like XY will fall and jabs! Try to move in though, but to no avail, looks like they both might end up dead here. Oh, the armlet toggle though, coming from XY, the right click is a life steal as well. He's surviving, he's surviving, but not for long. And jabs will get the kill onto him, but Maggie, one more right click will kill him off. And now Ice 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 trying to chase onto Ark here will get the kill. But now he has no mana to actually escape. And it looks like Mushi might get the kill onto the Sand King here. Wow. And the Sonic Wave just to kill him off. Oh Mushi. So right now we can see on the Lina will be going for a Bloodstone I believe. Soul Booster in his pocket. On his wish list. Yeah, it's pretty much the basic Lina. Not the, like the Mushi Lina. Not the Mushi Lina with <laughs> the Heal Scepter. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, Lifestealer normally gets a Blightstone just for casual negative armor. You know, he, he, he's actually much a, um, he actually much more. I, well, I it's think much more dangerous I, I, with a Blightstone. I think it's uh, mainly because of the latest after the, the past two patches where they removed Blightstone from the side shop. Yeah, but Blightstone also got removed as an attack modifier, so I don't see why he can't actually put it in the courier though. But he's probably not opting to go for Desolator altogether, so we'll have to see what kind of item build um, he chooses to go for. So right now, the bottom lane, we can see heroes starting to clump up. They want the tier 1 tower, the last remaining tier 1 tower from Mineski. Moving in, ice, ice, ice. It's yeah, funny that they have the, the more pushing heroes, but yet they are the one losing tower left and right. I mean... Yeah, the problem is Mineski, they are a little bit... I, I, I'm not sure what to comment on this though, but... Looks like even Rior wants to get out of there. But, but it's the good choice uh, to avoid team fight when Silencer have the global. It's not wise to go go into a, to rush into fights against the global silence. It's way too risky. Yep, I definitely agree there. Mm, so X Y, we're just waiting for the next creep wave to try and take down the tier one tower. And we can see him being joined up by the rest of his teammates as well. Uh, Ice 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 is uh, close to the Edgar already. Not his fastest record, but still. <coughs> it's not that bad. Wow, uh. Mineski going attempting the second tier 2. Yep, Mineski. Even Ooh. the God Strength being popped out here by Ark. One thing this tower. And they will certainly get it, and we can see a TP already coming out from Ice 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 here. Oh, and then a stun, but there is an infested life stealer inside. And hello, Ark looks to be falling as the epicenter was also being used. And it looks like that's not going to be all as jabs might fall as well. Sonic Wave being popped, and now Ninja Boogie will at least be able to charge away. Oh, nope, Baru's try is going to hold him in place. So it's a two for one exchange for now. But that was still a tier two loss on the side of Faceless, though. Well, so far, XY is still leading on the physical damage. D do you vote for Sven? Uh, or the life stealer? Yeah, I, I voted for Sven. So it looks like I won't be getting it though, but... <laughs> nevertheless, it's fine, it's fine, it's just one prediction. So 
so so yeah let's have a look into the bottom lane ah oh, man looks like he will get picked off here couple more right clicks Pass the ultimate as well. One more chop coming from Jabs and we'll end the life of the poor Nature's Prophet. Well, one TP cancel. And oh, looks like Mushi landed himself a kill though. Yeah, he, one that yeah, I missed. He, he used the EO scepter to uh, cancel the TP of something so, and got the solo kill. And now we can see a smoke attempts coming out. Left and right, Ninja Boogie Ooh. moving in. Oh, but the charge doesn't negate when you get blinked though. But at the very least, ice, 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 man. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta give it to him. His hands. Oh his hands no, hands. Ninja Boogie gets stuck within the trees. The ice charge is doing so much for him. Doesn't get enough. Oh, oh no, no charge there for him. And right now, Ark has to get out himself. They are pinging him. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a TP, but he does have blink. Will be able to blink out in time. Ark. Yeah, Where's the sigil? Where's the sigil? Yeah, aggression backfired. Oh, he didn't have any points into the sigil and looks like because of it, Ark should be able to get out alive. It's like a high and sweet game. <laughs> Indeed. Oh no. Oh, finally! Oh, oh. Oh. They pinged him, they pinged him, Ark. Another 4 seconds down and looks like he will fall. Found you! <laughs> <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> and looks like Faceless will you know, have the better, will have the upper hand of that fight there. Max, Max is pretty bad. So for the Queen of Pain, Mushi, what item will he go for next? Maybe an Axe Scepter or an Orchid? I mean, which do you think is a more viable pickup for him now? An Orchid would be good, you know, seeing how he can can actually prevent the life stealer from going to rage mode. Well, uh, or the leader, for that matter. I, I want to see him buy Necronomicon. Why? Why Necro? <laughs> <laughs> I know there was a recent buff for the Necro book. The demons now spawn forty five seconds instead of the initial forty seconds. But aside from that, I don't understand why you do want to see him buy a Necro book though. Uh, he's gonna go for, uh, I think, uh, Lincoln or Hex immediately. He's rushing for hack or something. Yeah, he has the ultimate orb up and ready, but we're not too sure what is he going for next. Oh, bottom. Looks like X-Line might have a little bit of a issue here. Will fall nevertheless. A five five man movement on the side of a neck on the side of Mineski. Mushi moving forward, heals up. But black so is a little bit too intimidating for Mushi to commit. So oh, Mushi likes uh you. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> but Eels is a good item to really cancel out TP. And not only that, for silencer against silencer, yep. yeah, he needs the you to heal himself. Yep. To get out from the globals. So do we see another clumping up on the side of Maneski here. Do they look to smoke up? Anyone has smoke? No, it doesn't look like it. And now Mac has a four staff of his own, a Blightstone as well. Now we really know what kind of play Mac is going to go for. The hit and run kind. Right now, Black, 14 Bloodstone charges, will be going for the Shadow Blade himself. So I is this a staple kind of build for all Lina players? Um, Bloodstone into Shadow Blade into I don't know Axe Scepter after that. Well, I think if you want to play uh, offensive, I think this is this is the the build, this is the play to make. And also, if you see the Life Steal is going for the Halberd to tank the damage from the Sylvan. Yep. Now bottom lane, we can see Maneski just trying to push out the fight the second tier two tower. So Mushi, looks like you'll be going for the Lincoln Sphere. Safety first. Yep, safety first. So there's a lot of um, lockdown, the snowball, the burrow strike that would just end his life. So I, I noticed that um, uh, in this qualifier, most of most of the teams they are going for the defensive item. <coughs> really, I I feel it's more 
more player specific. Like some players, they don't want to go defensive. It's like offensive, the best offense, the best defense kind of a thing. I I've seen way too many uh, Lakers player in the tournament. It's like, oh, okay, X Y uh, the global silence. Ah, uh, X Y find out pretty low here. Open wounds being used up, but not knowingly faceless. Have heroes coming in. Baro is trying to follow as well. And Yul Scepter is going to disjoin the snowboard the very least. Now Warrior's punch up. Ninja will be under a lot of trouble here. XY hot on his tail. Will kill him off. Meanwhile, Mushi will be at least safe for now. Uh, uh, well, at least they get to force, uh, force them to use the Global Silence. At the cost of a Spirit Breaker line. Not that, not that bad. Uh. Okay, they lost the tower as well. But it's just a low HP tier 1. Yeah, but it's de definitely not end of the world for them. Yeah, it's just a matter of time anyway. Yeah, <laughs> now Nuts a little bit out of position here. We'll choose TP away. Good choice there. Mm. Um, I haven't seen... I don't know, I haven't seen the Lash Rock being so useful in the game yet. Well, I believe the Lash Rock is just more for him to push towers. As you can see, he actually went from max point to the Diabolic yeah. they, they do get the tower uh, very fast, if uncontested. But uh, his way to squishy of a hero. Yeah, we usually see a, what they call Lash Rock. You remember, the, remember when, I think it was TI-5. Where Su male was just exceptional on the hero. Yeah, I think a lot of people, especially all those high MMR players, all crazy about using Lash Rock. And all of them were like really oh, good. Oh, God Strength being popped here. Ninja Boogie moving in with the charge as well. Black trying to focus down Ninja Boogie with the Laguna Blade. And moving in Epicenter onto the arc here. One <laughs> more right click onto it, the Lash Rock, and we'll kill him Ooh. off. And now very very low on life, but looks like the last pop from the Caustic Finale will end the life of the Sven. Moving forward, Barrow Strike, one more right click. And that's a double kill for Ice Ice Ice. So Faceless, only losing one hero and gaining three heroes for themselves. Do they look to take Roshan? Mushi made it alive. So let's have a look at the net worth right now. Not too much to shout about, but in terms of EXP, it is still in favor of Faceless with about 4,000. Mm. So at this point, Petri, do you feel that one team has the advantage over another in terms of late game, possibly? Mm, in terms of late game. Okay, who do I you feel has I the better late definitely game? Lecture, uh, definitely Mineski have the better late game because at level 25, uh, Mac will have a zero cooldown teleportation. So he can really, really red. red. Uh, Im imagine a uh, Nature Prophet with six, six or seven slotted Nature Prophet with zero, with zero teleportation cooldown. Th that's gonna be hell for Faceless to defend against. But I don't think Mac actually wants to play that card though because normally if you want like major amounts of EXP, you go for the Midas on the Mac, on the Nature's Prophet, but he actually chose to well, go for the Hurricane well, Pike instead. Well, well, you did ask in late, late, really, really late game. Ah, so, yeah, in, in a really, in a situation of a really, really late game, obviously Max gonna be like uh, Max, Max out by then. But what really stands out um, for you? I mean, like which hero really stands out in the late game? Uh, definitely Life Stealer because. Um, so Van is, is, is good early game because of the God Strength damage because at that time most uh, most of the other other, other heroes are all haven't have the high HP enough HP to tank his burst of physical damage but uh, at one point uh, when everybody is like full slotted even the support have like all the items to kite him it's gonna be difficult for him to get uh, he'd be lucky to get a one kill throughout his uh, BKB duration I'm pretty sure by then, Facelift would have at least 3-4 stuff. 
Right, this game is still very much even on both sides here. Mm, let's look at <laughs> let's have a look at nuts here. We're only under two K net worth. We'll have only a brown boot, so not doing too well himself. As uh, I think you mentioned it before, that Silencer isn't exactly the best farming hero, and being a support on top of that, you're just not going to be getting uh, much yeah, net worth. Yeah, I, I mean that he is Silencer as a support. Uh, he doesn't he, he doesn't have the ability to flash farming. Uh, unlike, uh, let's say, for example, like Sand King or Lashrak. So without a Mid Midas. Oh, the Global was committed there to try and get the kill onto Mushi, but not being able to place the eye shots you know, well enough, and Mushi was able to blink away. So that was a wasted Global Silence. Do you think this is an opportunity for Maneski to probably you know, do something about it? Yeah, it, uh, it can be. Uh, I mean, they might be able to defend uh, the next push from... Um, from faceless, or they could just uh, go for the Roshan because after all, they, they don't have the global silence anymore. Right. So let's have a look here. Mac currently is at level 14. Not too far away from his next I next big item here. I believe he's going to be going for the Orchid into the Blood Thorn later on. So Mushi, <laughs> only the Eel Scepter and the Lincoln Sphere for now. Does he look to... Yeah, what, what do you think with the next item for him? Because I believe he needs a little bit more offensive item and like I mentioned earlier, the Axe Scepter or the Aura Kit will probably be a good pick for him. I mean, where does he go from here on out? Yeah, uh, you mean for... Uh, Mushi. Mushi. Center now being channeled up. It looks like we'll be seeing the first death here as Mushi just dies and melts the magical damage off Faceless here, and they want more. There goes Savant's War Train. And now they just gave a Roshan. Yep, they just gave a free Roshan here. So mine is only the first Roshan of the game, so there is no cheese just yet. Oh, okay, it looks like a uh, SP Spirit Break Ninja Boogie. Okay. Oh, Barrow Strike on the Ninja Boogie here. But can anything come out of this? <laughs> They're just right kicking him down. It's like. Oh no, a snowball as well as the, as the Warrior's Punch will end the life of Ninja Boogie. Oh, the. Uh, it, it was just a really funny sight to, for me to see a Spirit Breaker losing in terms of right kicks to the Sand King. Oh, Zelina just so killed the Sven farming NC. Yeah, but looks like Black might be in a, a little bit of trouble himself. But he does have egg, so it's not really a big problem. Yeah, but, he, he but, but his backup is too slow. Uh, oh, Global yeah, they have being Global. used. Eels being used up as well just to buy themselves a little bit more time. Shadow Bay being. Being used on Jazz moves in with the Warrior's Punch. Nope, will not be able to use it in time. Oh, oh, actually, the the eel was used for Mushi. Mushi used the eel. He, he, he doesn't have eel. Lina doesn't have eel. Ah, right. So looks like Sonic Wave will be cast out on the black here. Dropping down very, very low. Does he choose a suicide? Nope, he will actually fall wow. to Mag. The Mushi dodged the, the Sankey's Stun. And now Nuts will fall as well. That's cool. Oh, an infested ice, ice, ice. Do they look to make a big play here? Well, they at least get a consolation prize, which is Mag. But nope, not yet. Hurricane Pike out, and looks like he's he's good to go. They didn't want to lose chasing after him. I th I think they I think they could have killed him. I mean, if they really went after him, maybe they worried because the Sven was already was already out. But the Sven level, but the Lina level is really, really high. Sven is like kind of under fun. This is like the first time I've seen Sven in this tournament. Like so, uh, quite, quite far behind. Uh, I wouldn't say he's just he's very, very behind. Just looking at the net worth, maybe 
And, and, well, it's just the Lina that is doing exceptionally well. Well, uh, usually with the Great Cliff, uh, the Ancient stacking. Yeah, so that, that's it. There's not much Ancient stacks coming out from the Neski because who actually helped him to stack? The Lash Rack as well as the Barra has always been rotating in. Mm, yeah, they don't have... They don't actually... They commit too much... That's the thing where, where you commit too much time on the lanes. Yep, and here we go. Black just constantly spamming out spells after spells. And just look at the right place coming from the Lina here. But oh, God Strang moves in. But he did Ark, the BKB. Oh no, my God. he did a BKB in time. He finally pops out a BKB and he's trying to clean house here. XY dropping him very, very low. Does he get a stun off? Nope, doesn't even need it. And now, 3 death on the side of Faceless here. And looks like the other members will at least be able to survive. Silence, Silence didn't global silent. Uh, I wonder why. It, was it on cooldown or was it? I think he didn't manage to get it out in time. He just melted so quickly. But what? Wh why was he so in front? I probably just a I don't know a misstep coming out from the teams there. And here we go, Rior popping up the oh, edict. Oh, this is bad. Life Stealer doesn't have to buy a bag. Uh, and and, and they they uh, they just gonna try. But on the bright side, there is an epicenter from the Sand King, so Ice 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 may be able to still defend this pretty well. Laguna Blade still available as well, and knowing that you know, the heroes are m pretty much alive on the side of Faceless, Maneski doesn't want to risk it and will just back off. So Mac gets an Orchid of his own, and we'll be going for a Hex pretty soon as well. Let's have a look at this fan, we'll be going for an AC. Spirit Breaker, we'll be going for a Blade Mail. We have the Lash Rack, going for the Yule Scepter of his own. Seems like no one from uh, Mineski aside from Savan going for BKB. Maybe they, they deem it as unnecessary. Yeah, but. Because Queen of Pain, you can they, just they easily still, blink it they, out. But they still have to respect <coughs> Sanky King, you know. Buro Strike with the Epicenter with Argent Scepter. Yep. And now we have an infested ice, ice, ice moving forward under the guise of the smoke here. Oh, they, they found it. <laughs> they already scanned him. Yep, trying so to find someone. So it looks like no action though on the side of Faceless. Oh, Mech should have known that. Should have just picked the Reese and just continue pushing. Right now we can see. Oh, it looks like Maneski are making a move of their own as well. Four smoked up and oh, the nice BKB. But it's not going to be enough though, Ice Ice is now backing off and Rior dropping off very very low here But XY looks to fall as well, BKB still being popped up, Snowball back in That's a beautiful save coming out from the Tuska and look he here, Black moves in with the Laguna Blade Instantly kills off the Sven and Ninja Boogie tries to at least salvage a little bit But unfortunately it won't be enough, Mushi the only survivor And here comes the Snowball So uh, let's have a look in terms of the buybacks here. Only the Nature's Prophet and the Sven has a buyback. I think I think uh, Queen of Peace could uh, use the Lincoln on the Sven instead of herself. I mean instead of just keep, it, keep holding it for herself. And here we, here we see Mac buying back. Silencing out Ice 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 as well. Uh, he, the should have, he should have teleport Thor because Thor is already in. Yeah, he was probably feeling you know more of a need to actually defend the base. But oh, there's a good kill there, Mushi with a mega kill. Now maybe an unstoppable. Indeed, he will be on the tusk. And like you said, TP. But no, nope, it's gonna be black trying to defend his base. So do you think it was a a win or a buyback for three kills? Well, uh, if you look at the recap, uh, still going uh to Mineski way. I mean, uh, just I said for. <laughs> Um, for Mac, it's negative 700, minus 700 gold from him. I think it was worth it because they get to defend their uh, tower. So let's have a look here in terms of the graph. In terms of net worth, about 2k, slightly in favor of Faceless, and about 5k in terms of EXP. So Faceless still having a little bit of an advantage, but something very, very negligible at this point of the game. So Lina, but BKB, going but for further mm. into the game, I think they will have more uh, once the silencer have more items, and the rest of the supports have better items. They they might be able to kite the Sven better. Yeah, 
<coughs> for the uh, Sven, the most, the easiest item to kite him with is just having a yule scepter. Finally, Mac acknowledged that he needs a BKB. Uh. See, I, I knew he needed he need to be baby. <laughs> Indeed, Ex experience has taught you well, Petri. <laughs> and right now, we can see a small movement coming on the side of Maneski here. As Ark tries to move forward, tries to get maybe a little bit more of a push. Meanwhile, we can see Faceless just farming up their side of the, their side of the jungle as well. And Ice Ice Ice, definitely knowing that there's someone in their jungle has drawn out on the map. Roshan up? Nope, not yet. A couple more minutes to go. This, it seems like uh, the life stealer is. Uh, this item has been stuck. I mean, like. I, I don't know. It's like uh, his network hasn't been gone up that much. Mm. I, even uh, Sanking is catching up in net worth. Yeah. <coughs> it's pretty understandable as. You know, life stealer isn't exactly the best date game carry. He doesn't flash farm well himself. Especially, um, he spent most of the time being in inside someone else when he infests to look for kills. Yep, very, uh, very true. Yeah, so now Sanking is picking up a 4 staff. As I mentioned earlier, it's like you're gonna need like, all, all the kiting, you know, 4 staff to kite away from this fan. Yep. So, so uh, even uh, Silencer, but Silencer is still long way, long way from, from the... From the 4 staff. Four staff yeah. Yeah, he, he just need to wait ten more uh, 5 more seconds for the Ring of Hell. So it's like, yeah, it's like, I get off. He's gonna get one piece of the... <laughs> one small piece of the very, very coming soon boss stuff. Yeah. So but Mushi has a hex for, for himself now. So it's gonna be a little bit easier for him to try and kite out any of the enemy heroes. The life stealer oh, especially. Okay. Oh, Mushi. But he does have the Lincoln, so it's not like they can do it. But he, he can he can use the eel to cancel the Lincoln. But with Mushi reaction, he won't be have enough time to eel and stun. Yep. Yeah, it looks like Roshan is up and alive here. Vineski, knowing that it is, how will they approach this? You see, eyes, eyes, eyes with the egg scepter up and ready. The long reach barrel strike will definitely be very very important in this game. There's no item progression for life stealer anymore. Oh this is uh, not looking good for him. Yeah he's gonna opt for the abyssal blade. But at this point of time life stealer at level 20 is not doing too bad I suppose. He is He is what? Well, Fifth in net worth. Well he's dropping below, I mean it's like uh, as as the game progress. He's uh just get, getting left behind, more and more left behind. Yeah, not something that we were want on the side of faceless here. Yeah. So I guess um, physical probably will still be spent then. Well. Ice, 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 just staying on top of the ground here, knowing that they want to go for Roshan. Oh, look at that. It's like, uh, look at the buyback status. <laughs> it's crazy. Both sides, uh, they, they're af afraid to get the Roshan because n n neither of them have <laughs> buy back, buy back yep. except for a Tusker. Oh, it looks like Maneski will be the ones to claim Roshan first. This is the second Roshan of the game, so he does have cheese. And looks like Faces aren't going to do anything about it just yet though. They are signaling to just push towards the middle lane. They're waiting for the Tusker, I guess. And the Radiant Scan just picked up the heroes on the side of oh, Faceless there. And they know that, you know, guys, they're coming close. I'm just going to pop my God Strength and grab the Aegis and the Cheese for myself. They, they need the Tuskar Vision if they want to do anything. Because uh, Tuskar with the Ice Shard and the, uh, the Sigil, it was important. I think it was, uh, I don't know what happened, but Jeps was halfway across the map trying to push out the bottom lane. Yep, and now we can see them smoked up here. Ice, ice, ice. He is... Yeah, he is infested up as well. But Maneski trusting their gut here. Knowing that, hey guys, let's not move out. Just stay between 
our safety net and you know, just try to make things work for us. On the top lane here, we can see Black already completed the Shiva's Guard of his own. We'll be going for a Daedalus. Oh, it's going to be right clicking so, so much later. He probably might actually be the one who wins the prediction, Petri. <laughs> the physical one. So XY will actually be going for Manta Sound Knights instead of the intended Abyssal Blade. Knowing that, like you said, probably didn't have too much space to farm. We'll be going for the cheaper... No, we'll be going for a, what, a more push potential item, I suppose. The Manta Sal can just always send out the Manta Sal and be able to hit the towers safely. Hmm, both teams now very, very afraid to actually make any move at all. Probably just wanting to... You know, save some gold in at least enough for their buybacks. Well, but, but anyway, the life stealers going for Manta uh, definitely be for the mobility and also for the orchard okay, to remove the silen uh, silence. Ah, right. If you were to be silenced up by the orchid, yep. Manta is definitely the better choice here. Yep. Oh, Mushi. Like the LSE, not gonna hit though. Uh, but it doesn't even need to hit and he instantly falls. And looks like the gem has been dropped as well. Yep, Ice 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 has picked up the gem. I noticed that the XY item is very defensive. Uh, instead of going for like Deso, he went for the Halberd. And then instead of going for like uh, uh, Basher or Aggraded Basher, Abyssal Blade, he went for Manta. So he's like, he's going for the survivability. He probably feels that probably feels that it's a bit hard for him to stay in the fight so having more attack but no defense at all is kind of pointless but here comes another team fight as Black Ooh. just easily kills him off Mag tries to TP away will be successful see the BKB man BKB <laughs> it will help him red around until uh, if life still gets the basher yeah then at this point it doesn't seem like he'll be getting the basher anytime I, I, th I think he will af after the Manta um, or maybe after the travel, food of travel. But but yeah, by doing so, by doing so, he will. Mm, now that he's getting Manta, he will have to. Uh, he, he cannot carry a killing blade, and that could uh, that could be a trouble for him to. Uh, he couldn't. He will not be able to escape from the sprout. Yep. Indeed, this is like I was telling you earlier. There was a game where I believe it was RTZ that was playing in Sven. One hero was enough to kite him, which was a Nature's Prophet Sprout. And this is a pretty similar heal with a Life Stealer. Yeah, All they need to do is one Sprout, you have no more Quelling Blade in a late game, and yeah. you're just gonna be stuck there. The thing is, even with BKB, you still can be Sprout. Yeah, but there is one saving point though. There's one saving grace, which is the Lina. The LSA is ah, able yeah. to actually break up the tree, so... It's, it's something that you can consider, I suppose. And now Maneski... Are smoked up as five here, moving towards their own jungle. Scan has been used, but not knowing who is around. MKB, oh, MKB, do they have uh, do they have any evasion? Who has any evasion? Oh, the uh, oh, okay. So then, talent, talent three have evasion, thirty percent evasion. So it makes sense for Lina to get the MKB. <coughs> Knowing that Sven can be pretty pretty hard to kill with all the right clicks, so why not get the MKB instead? Yeah, because they have to use right click anyway to down him because of the BKB. Yeah, and there's a life stealer in play as well. So if the life stealer will be uh, constantly be missing all his right clicks, it's up to the Lina to actually pick up the slack after him. The Aegis time is uh it's not that long. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, so but they did able to buy them time to get the second, the tier two bottom. Yep, and now ice, ice, ice smoked up as well as infested, but looks like he won't be able to find anyone as all the members on the side of Maneski are at the bottom lane. Mag though surprisingly isn't trying to rat. Why? Why is that though? Why isn't he ratting? Is it because there is a life stealer and a sanking around? Yeah, he's playing, he's playing really safe. He don't want to take risks. 
I, I think he, he, he don't want to risk his team getting caught out when he's not around. He definitely want to have the... Mm, A safer play? I mean, uh, he wants to be there uh, right during the engagement from the get from the beginning, I guess. So he probably like can quickly uh, do something with his all kit. Or but then, then that's pretty much of a waste when you go for a Nature's Prophet though. Because you, you, that's the main point and the, main, the sole reason that you play in Nature's Prophet is because you're able to have the global presence. Well, but if you're going to be staying with your whole team the ent entire time, I think like... I, I think maybe uh, partly it's because of the Sprout, uh, the Sprout Vision. So it's in case like they are being uh, jumped by the Faceless, he can immediately Sprout so they can get the slight advantage of Vision. Oh, middle lane though, Mushi almost falling there. He's able to blink away in the nick of time. And here comes the global. Oh, Mushi. Dropping down oh. very, very low here. And Black gets a kill. Burrow strike onto the Nature's Prophet here. BKB being popped out, but I don't think it's going to do you any good, my friend. And that's two down inside of Maneski there. Not to worry, both the Lina as well. Uh, sorry, both the Queen of Pain as well as the Nature's Prophet does have buyback. But. Looks like they will be forced to use it though, otherwise it's going to be a lane of Rax going to be taken down in favour of Faceless. And indeed Mushi buys back. Does Faceless look to back off here? Yeah? I think Mushi, Mushi shouldn't have, shouldn't have got, got, got caught at mid just now. Oh, what was that fast out? Okay, probably a miscommunication there. But here we can see Black just constantly working onto the towers there. Moving forward. And looks oh. like there'll be another buyback card from Mac. TPing in, but Mac a little bit out of position there though. In between four heroes. Four stuff at least be able to get away. Mushi with a sonic wave, killing off one, no, two heroes. And now looks like the faceless will be the one to run. Oh, they don't have the detection for Lina SP that's too bad. Yeah, by the very least, they will get jabs as well. So it's three down the side of Faceless. It's a really big waste because they could have taken down Shiva Bloodstone. That was very important. Because otherwise, the next push, even if they get to kill Lina, Lina still have buybacks and a really, really high Bloodstone charge. Yep, he's going to be able to make her respawn very, yeah, very quickly. So I don't think they can put... If, if, even if they can wipe, they can kill her twice, I think she still have like... Uh, at the moment, she still have like two lives. I mean, three lives, yeah. Right now, looks like Maneski looks to push the tier 3 in the mid lane. But you forced us a buyback and now let's do the same. Mind you, both, both Mushi as well as Mac has no buyback for a good 6 minutes. Do they look to risk it? They are, they are, they are coming out soon. So. Doesn't look like Maneski has anything in their pockets right now to be able to take down the tier trees. So they will just go for the safer play and just try and farm up their buyback or at least wait it out for Roshan to spawn. Uh, Mushi shouldn't have get caught in mid like that just now. <laughs> we were still not over that? <laughs> yeah, it's like. I don't know why he was so greedy before that wave. It wasn't worth at all. And. He could have blinked to the right side, to his towards his teammate, but he blinked uh, further away from his team, and I think it was a panic blink. <laughs> Possibly, he blinked towards the trees. Maybe he was hoping that he was able to, you know, hide from his opponents, but unfortunately, wasn't. Yeah, because wasn't she enough. Lina went to the high ground, so instead of a uh, he hide from the team, he couldn't see the Lina. Had he seen the Lina, he could have uh, ill himself. To yep. avoid the combo, but I think uh, Mushi needs a BKB. Yep, I believe you stressed out many, many times the importance of a BKB this game. But does Mushi opt to go for it? We're not too sure just yet. 1.7k gold in his pockets. We'll see what he chooses next for his item. But right now, though, oh, there is initiation moving in, global being used, but the BKB being popped by Ark as well. That's one death. But that is Mushi dead. And there's no buyback for Mushi as well. And Ninja Boogie. Will he be able to survive this? We're right clicking onto Black here, but Black with the right clicks is just too much to handle. He has the MKB. The right clicks is just too, too painful. And this looks to be the end for Maneski. 
No buyback. No buyback on Mag. No buyback on Mushi for four whole minutes. Wow, Lina, ha Lina have overtaken uh, uh, Nash Dealer in the right click. Damage, physical damage. Ice, ice, ice. Not doing too bad for his right click damage too with the classic finale. <laughs> Look at Black here. Just ratting it out. Uh, what kind of Savan without uh, God Strength though? <laughs> Yep, 20 seconds more on his God Strike. And doesn't even have I, th I, th I think they are, he's doing it out of desperation. I, th I think it's good as GG, but they still don't want to call it. Yep. They, st Black. they, they, st they are still clinging to the hope. That, uh... No, you know why? They want you to buy me coffee, that's why. <laughs> and it looks like there'll be only one more lane of racks before we call it Mega. And it's going down very, ah. very quickly. Moving in, R pops the BKB, pops the God Strength, but the right click is coming from Black, it's just too much to handle here. Moving in, the Warrior's Punch onto Ark as well, just slowing him down. Pops up the Shrine, will it be enough though? Doesn't look like it, a GG called by Mushi. And Faceless yeah, will be the victors here. This yeah. is the problem, is when you have Savan, you could end, you could end the game fast. It's like, at, a, at one point when, when an enemy get better and better, you just can't instantly kill. His target, you know, with all the with with their base HP higher with.